Okay, today's video, we're going to be replacing an engine coolant temperature sensor uh, for 2006 to 2011. Could be a little bit higher, a little bit lower. If you have the 1.6 liter Hyundai engine, uh, Kia engine, it's in the Spectra, it's in the Accent, it's in the Rio, Rio 5, like that. All right, the 1.6, this is the sensor. Now, the sensor is a little tricky to get to. It's located in the back of the head. You have to take the air cleaner off and maybe a coolant line hose to get to it. We're gonna, we're gonna see, um, once I take the uh, air cleaner out, uh, we'll see what we got. So the air cleaner has, it has 10 millimeter, but one there, uh, one here, and one right there. All right, and then you're gonna have your hose clamp here and a clamp here, and make sure you disconnect the negative battery terminal, which I'm gonna do now, because you have to take the computer out, and this computer, this just lifts up, and this one on the back, this, this thing just slides forward, and both of these come off, and then you can take the whole box out. Okay, I just wanted to show you how these, how these come up. You just lift this up, all right, and this goes straight up, and this one, it just, has a thing you pull out and then this pops straight out like that and it should wiggle right out and the whole thing comes right out and it gives you decent access and now if you can see uh, over here there's a wire it's on the head over there so um let me see if i can take if I can take the plug off and maybe put an extension in there, a little bit of coolant's gonna come out, but you know, that's inevitable. Now, if you see it, it's right here. That's it right there. So, there's like, you have this line here, this line is here. There's another line in back of it, so it's a little tricky to get to, but um, let me see what I do and I'll show you how I took it out. Okay, so what I did, put a little more light is you don't have to take this hose off, uh, but this hose you would have to take off, okay, because it blocks it, and then you can get the wrench in there, I mean the uh, socket in there, because I have it on it right now. You can see it right there, it slips right in. So you just take it off, you install the other one, and then you put, this is the, uh, the coolant hose that goes there, there, and the little one. One of them goes up here, and the other one goes here. Because with them in the way, it's really hard to get to it. So you just gotta take those two hoses off. So, then you put on the small line that you took off here, and the other coolant line here, and make sure you put the electric connect, electrical connector for the uh, coolant temperature sensor. And then that's it. What I did is I just moved this out of the way. Whatever you gotta do to get to it. So now you know where it is. All right, it's right here. Right there, I showed it to you before. Okay, and then you just re reverse, reverse the procedure. Put your wires back. I'll do that and I'll show you what it looks like. Make sure if you did take off a ground for your fuel injection or the harnesses, you put that back, that's important. And any connectors you took off. And what I do is, when you take these off and put them back on, sometimes they leak. So I get like screw clamps and I put, I put the screw clamps over here. You know, so when you put everything back, it don't leak. When it does and it leaks, you know, it's a pain in the neck. You got to take everything off again. So that's just a little tip if you want to do it that way. So the air cleaner, like I said, the air cleaner goes in here. And here is your port. Make sure there's a clamp here and here. Then you got your three 10 millimeters. One, uh, two, and where's the other one? I'll show it to you. And um, let me do that and show you what that looks like. I'm not putting the clamp there or there because I'm still doing a little bit more work on here, but the screw holes is one there, and one here, and one there, okay? And when you put these on, same as before, you make sure it goes on straight. You don't want to bend nothing. And then slowly it goes, it pushes down by itself. And this one, same thing, all right? Then when you push it, 
it, it seats down by itself. Okay, that's important. Don't you want to bend no prongs there? Okay, and then that's it. And you're done. All right, guys, motor car nut, please subscribe, hit the like button. Any questions, leave them below. I answer all my questions pertaining to the videos that I post. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I really appreciate all the comments. Thank you. Bye.